Hi, Dirk. Hi, Edgar. Cheers. Coffee time. In coffee time. <laughs> Springtime. Warm, is it? Hello, everyone. Hi. <laughs> it must be Saturday. Hey, yeah. did you miss us? Yes. I actually got an email. Yeah, we were missed. Oh, we missed a week good, doing a video. Good. Yes. Yes. We're a bit offline for a while, but we're all back. We're all back. And you're preaching. Yeah, I'm on. We've been doing... Um, some really interesting sermons, you know, on on community and and I've been, uh, you know, when we're Look, speaking about community. you preach your series and I preach my series and so every yeah, and, and they intersect. They do, don't they? Yeah, so, so when like, you think about community and mine on prophecy, it's yeah, like you yeah. know because prophecy actually does speak into community. Yeah, of course, yeah. In the life of yeah. individuals and and the whole group. Yes. Oh, and look, I just want to say that we had this really exciting um uh evening with Faye and sparks and and uh, a number of other congregations were with us uh at that time yes, and yes. she came out and she actually spoke a word over you she spoke a, a word over yeah, us ours and, was on saturday she yeah. prophesied of a number of pastors and like i've probably never experienced it like that she probably went for two pages two a4 pages like she prophesied and it was almost a theme developing. Yeah. She came back to stuff that she started off with. And then I listened to her giving prophetic words to other ministers. And they were not the same words. Mm. So it was actually quite specific. And then you got one on the Sunday night. Yeah. Yeah. Penny wrote it down so that um, uh, you know someone videotaped it. Which was good because I think otherwise you forget. Yes. And this is the thing about so often... I don't know, everybody, if you've ever had a word of prophecy shared with you or you've been given one. But the thing is that um, you then sort of forget. No, I file them. You file them. I file them. Yeah. Well, I said to Penny, look, write it down. Yeah, in dreams, everything, I file them because yeah, you do forget. But when you get a prophetic word, God is declaring something. And I'm always waiting for a prophetic word because only when you've heard from God, you can actually have faith for something. That's it. Yeah. You see, that's what I'm going to be preaching about. This whole thing about, you know, prophecy is a way of... Um, I've had different people sort of share with me different ideas. Um, I think it was Graham Cook who said that... Uh, not Graham Cook. Yeah, Graham Cook. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was just sort of thinking Captain Cook. <laughs> oh, no, I was like, yeah. no, one of those. Yeah, Graham Cook. He, he wrote a lot of things in that area. But the thing is that um, he wrote something like, you know, where a prophecy is... Is history written in advance yeah, yeah. and, and um, I've often sort of said that prophecy is like remembering your future yeah or others talk about prophecy as forth telling you know kind of like creating and describing the the future that God has for you the, the best fit for you it, actually that that's a little bit different isn't mm. it you know if you remember the future and stuff like that it, it almost implies it automatically happens but prophecy works a little bit different mm. God declares mm. and he wants you to respond to mm. it and actually work with it. And that's what I think is so exciting is when you write it down, you have faith for the future yes. that God has declared yes. and he's calling you into that. And I know that um, one of the things that Edgar and I have been saying just of recent times since we've had these words, and it's interesting over me, uh, it was like, you know, now's the time, 2021, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2022. It, it was the same like, in yeah. our word. Yeah. It basically, from now on, yeah. these things are happening. Yeah. And so very much a season change. There was a lot of things like God would add leaders to, to the church. Um, there was intergenerational stuff. God would give you a voice in the nation for the church and you know there would be growth um yeah yeah two pages worth but definitely we come into a season of blessing and things are happening and happening quickly and then you know we had prophetic words all over the church when you led a gym uh the intercessors now what are did doing you, yeah now what did you see uh, I'll, I'll share mine you share yours yeah so because i just saw the church building and around the church building it's almost going from the church outwards it was just like this explosive growth of plants. So green shoots. Are, on the ground. On the ground, yeah. yeah. They were just g going out and looked healthy and energetic. So that's what I saw. That's a, See, that's a calling into a new season of growth. That It's almost like the season is yeah, finished. And, and, and it's, so but it's spreading, going, get yeah, it going getting out. out from the yeah, church. Yeah. I like that. That's a, that's a very 
you know because the thing is prophecy is often with visions or words and and it's not always you know thus says the lord you know and on 2022 you're going to be here and there yeah, yeah. it's like these pictures that god is calling us it's a season of growth yes yeah, springtime and you know i find it interesting all the intercessors are agreeing mm -hmm. um myrna especially prophesied over the, uh, the sunday morning prayer meaning you no know, winter's over she said yes and then she said she got confirmations of that word so uh, around the ridges in the church we yeah. always seem to be getting the same thing season has changed and the thing is it does take faith to believe it and make warfare with it you know let's say enemy devil knows it you've got to back off take our ground it's going to change because in the natural it's not quite there you know sometimes you just gotta walk like a bit like that i'm not hearing i'm i i, I don't want to see what my eyes see and my ears hear i want to believe what the word of god says and the new season is here now it's a bit like we had the lovely start to spring yeah and then suddenly this cold blast yeah, came yeah, in. Yeah, it's yeah, almost yeah. winter saying ah oh, i still got you but gorgeous days now yeah it? yeah so you don't actually always believe where you're at now you believe what god is calling you into yes and you have faith for that yes and uh, what i saw was that i actually got a little bit annoyed with what i saw because it was like um it i couldn't follow it it was so fast it was like this this light was flitzing through the streets of toowoomba yeah yeah like i'm looking and thinking wow there it is there it is there it is it's like and it really confused me as to where is it now there it is there it is it's like you know all over you know toowoomba and it's like zap 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 and then it's like you know and i thought oh god i can't get a picture of this and it took me up and i saw toowoomba uh you know underneath like a like a helicopter here we go yeah, there you go, prophetic helicopters going yeah, yeah. down. And I'm yeah, looking you're up. going up, going yeah. up, looking down. Onto I'm looking down, and it was like a map. Suddenly turned into a map. Yes. And God had uh, a pin, a purple pin. Yes. And He said, "This is living grace." Yeah, oh, yeah. And He put it down onto Toowoomba on the map of Toowoomba, and said, "I'm okay. going to put you on the map." Okay. And I thought, well, "Wow, that too yeah, is yeah, kind of like yeah, having yeah. an influence, like yours. Yes. It's going out from the church. Yes. And uh, aren't we longing for a season change? Because Previously, the prophetic words, we had plenty of prophetic words as well, and they also agreed with one another. And it was a lot about shaking. God is shaking and, you know, some, uh, a war is coming. And you remember that? Yeah. Are you ready? And we had, had this armor put on, you know, are you ready for the fight? War is coming. you got to get out of the wheelchair. you got to have, you, you know, we had all these all those, serious yeah, yeah, words yeah. coming. And, and we've, we've been in that season, I, I, I guess. But now to have an, another set of words coming, the season is changing and yeah. believing for that, yeah. I think it's going to be more fun. Yeah. Yes. But, you know, that's where I had that dream. Yes. That, that you know, Tatiana had that thing about being in the castle and yeah, everyone yeah, getting yeah. their armor yes, on. Yes, yes. And Jesus sort of saying, you know, you're, you're, you're going to go. And, and it's almost like Tatiana said, oh, it's almost felt like he was sending us out, but yeah, he yeah. trusted us. But the dream I had was that we were coming back in after the battle. Yes. And it's like, you know, like um, at a grand final when everyone's won and the yeah, yeah. team gets into the room, yes. you're taking your gear off and high-fiving each yeah, other. Yeah. And it's like, high five. Oh. <laughs> so it is a new season. Yes. We're believing for it. And it's, it's a sermon that's going to be about how God is calling us into what he's already seeing for us. Yes. Yeah. And the encouragement is the new season is for everyone. Yeah. It's, it's over the church. And yes, we want to encourage one another in it. We want to listen to the word of God and, and get, I guess, get ready and active. I mean, like join yeah, in with yeah. what God is doing. Yeah. Oh. So come along, listen to more. Sunday. Yes. 9.30. 9.30. Yes. Same place. Yes. Same back channel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. All right. Bye, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.